why is nothing changing? I literally talked to everybody. Everybody keeps talking about Kathy. And yet nothing's happening about Kathy. I'm trying to talk to Kathy about Kathy. <laughs> Damn it. Hold on, wait a minute. Yeah, that brother's starving. Yes, sir, brother. Ideally. <laughs> ah, sorry. <laughs> Now, I don't want y'all ever saying I don't love y'all ever again, bro. Because guess what? We're finally playing a game that literally every single one of you have been telling me to play since, uh, uh, since the year started. We are playing Pokemon Ash and Frost, which is essentially, and all the developers have been telling me this stuff, people in the comment section, Everybody that's played this game can agree that this is the most unique Pokemon game that we have. With that being said, we don't know this is actually made by Ecat and Michael. Ecat is one of the people that actually made uh, a video game that we made over uh, I guess a video game that we played a couple months ago during the last game jam called Pokemon Nightshade. And here we are, right? Here we are with her, I guess one of her best projects i guess right let's get into it right now make sure you leave a like a comment subscribe if you guys are new do not forget to hit the bell as well as go sign up sacredalmighty.com for some more content uh 500 likes for the follow-up video if it does good i'll come back you got 24 hours to hit 500 likes if not well uh we'll just move on to the next one um i'm excited to see what the hell this game is all about <coughs> let's go hello would you like to play on a casual competitive difficulty? Wait, what? Wait, why? Wait, oh, casual. Definitely casual. Press the alt button to speed up. Okay. Control to quick save or control and S to quick save. Got it. Hello. My name is Sylvester. I was a detective for Riverview City until recently. I decided to go private. Okay. Are you sure about this, Sylvester? Certain. There's no turning back once you do. I just feel like there's so much more I could be doing that I'm not really a help. <clears throat> oh my god. <clears throat> that I'm not really a help so long as I'm restricted by red tape and bureaucracy. The stakes are much higher. Yes, but so are the rewards. One thing private detectives do is monologue. It's harder than it seems. I know you're supposed to cover the obvious, but I always run out of things. Okay, this is a cold city, and I don't just mean climate. I guess you wanna come with me, eh? Okay, uh, Snoopy. I don't know why, Snoopy gotta work, okay. I can't say Delibird is a Pokemon I've ever wanted to train. I'll take good care of it nevertheless. It might be a cold city, but I try not to be a cold guy. I'm done being that person. All right. I can't say it's the same for everyone in Riverview, but there are good people out there. Oh, that sounds more helpful than gritty. Maybe I should reverse the order of things. I guess it doesn't matter. I can work on my monologuing later. Once I solve this la latest crime. Case one. Safety first. All right. So it starts off riding them action. Okay, cool. Ah, Detective Lafayette. Hello, that's, that's me. Thrilled that you're here. You understood the need for absolute discretion, yes? Of course. Good, good. I know you advertise that you used to work with the police. Ideally, the Riverview wouldn't like this news leaking out. I understand. Actually, I don't. Well, you know, it wouldn't, have, it wouldn't do to have customers thinking criminals can break in here easily or at all. But the Riverview is more concerned about the check or cheek? I don't know. Cheek that was stolen from our safe and then the criminal's identity. Please check down the money. I'll be at, I'll be in my office if you need to speak with me. Well, he sure seems frazzled. I guess losing nearly ten thousand pokey dollars overnight would do that to any reasonable person, though. Time to go track down a thief. What are we looking for? First and foremost, you can't trust people with blue hair. All right. Thank you for the foreshadowing. Current trust people with blue hair. Uh, hello? Who the hell are you? Whoa, 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 what the hell? Whoa, oh, we got, oh, hold on, who the hell? Yo, look at his, look at his back sprite. 
His back. Yo, look at this move set. Yo, body these dudes, man. I detected. Was there something you needed from me? Recount last night. All right. For your efforts tonight, I gave one of the waitresses, Kathy, the check. Or cheek. I, I, I keep saying check, but I don't know if it's cheek or not. Whatever. She left in the direction of my office. Okay. Let's see if we're going to recount this morning. Okay. Let's see. What? How is this possible? The check is gone. Huh. So where's the where's the maid? The hotel is a fine invitation, plenty of tourists visit, and we're also known for the many local charities we sponsor. Now there's where her stand survivor heard one. It's indestructible on the side, so nobody could have broken in. Or attacked it, I guess. Okay. Huh. Let me go talk to you. If you try to pull a fast one with your method of payment, management won't be too happy. Shut up. And by that, I mean I'll beat you to a bloody pole. Shut up. Me and my family are visiting from a distant region. It's nothing like here. It's nothing like here. Okay. Huh. So where is this maid supposed to be? Hello there. Is something the matter? It seems that I should be the one asking the questions. Ah, well, the hotel manager suggested I should bring it up. The robbery, I'm here to investigate. Are you wonderful? Please find the missing money. As the victim, I'll help in any way I can to find the che check. I'm afraid I didn't catch your name. Ah, I'm Mr. Pa Palermo. I run a local day Pokemon daycare. Okay. Huh. Right. One of the maids, there's this man with blue hair who stops in regularly to talk with the head chief. He's always kind of a shifty look looking, but there's not much we can do about it. Okay, okay, okay. So I gotta find somebody with, with blue hair. Can't trust nobody with blue hair. That's a reoccurring thing right now. What about you? You should not pass. I can't let you go up there unless you know about the thingy. I will guard the staircase of my life. It seems like this guy takes his job way too serious. Whatever. Yo, how many people are, yo. Can the maid shut the hell up and move out the goddamn way? Move! The technology is amazing with online design programs that can create my own ugly sweaters. Ah, uh, okay, um. So, is this my mom? I hear the manager at this hotel collects souvenir spoons with an odd hobby. Yeah, it don't matter, dog. I'm trying to find out where the hell the killer is. It. Oh, wait. I mean, I basically can, but it probably won't accomplish anything. Okay, so I have, right? I have this clue right here. Okay. This is the guy that the money goes to. Oh, huh, what do you want? I'm a detective hired by the hotel to investigate last night's robbery, and could I have your name? Kathy. She doesn't seem interested in talking anymore than she already has. Guess I should come back with more evidence. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go to the kitchen, and then maybe we can find something in the kitchen. Who knows? Maybe, who knows? Talk to the head chef. Hello. Sometimes Kathy takes leftover food and brings it to the Pokemon in the alleyway. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Trash. Okay. Um. There's Pokemon in the alleyway. What the hell is that? Is that a Tyranitar? What the hell? Looks like Tyranitar has been rummaging through the trash in the alleyway. Uh. The big ass Tyranitar in the middle of nowhere. What the hell going on? I said it's a bowl for a Pokemon. There's a tiny bit of moon. Look at the bottom. I don't have any on me right now. Mm, look at the bottom. Okay. All right then. Um, what about over here? Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. I, so I'm lost. Cause where the hell do I go? Cause most of the races are pretty friendly. It's obviously where I'm going to leave a bad online review about her. Okay. Uh, moo moo milk. Let me get that right now. And now let me go over there to the to the guy to the trash can. Let's talk to what's her name. Hello, hi. How what do you want? I'm gonna tell you about your name, Kathy. Still nothing. Okay, let me go talk to you real quick. Come, come here, come here. Uh, oh, the fundraiser. Ah, oh, yes, we had a dinner at the hotel last night. All the ticket sales went towards funding the daycare. We presented the check. On a stage near the end of the dinner, near, near the end of dinner, then a waitress brought it to the back of the manager's office. 
Next morning it was stolen. What was the main course? Steak, potato, and hold on. Please remind me what relevance this has to the case. I guess I'm hungry. Okay, let me go talk to her right now. Cause she, it's her over here. Hey, oh, what do you want? I'm a detective Harley. Okay, and cause you'll give me your name, Kathy. Okay, now what? Do you, like, what does she do, bro? I really talked to everybody, bro. Where the hell do I go? Can we try it again? Can I have your name, Kathy? Uh, bro, where's my evidence, bro? What? Why is nothing changing? I literally talked to everybody. Everybody keeps talking about Kathy, and yet nothing's happening about Kathy. I'm trying to talk to Kathy about Kathy. Ah, <laughs> damn it! Hold on, wait a minute. Do I gotta buy food? Hold on. Do I gotta buy food for the Tyranitar? Maybe. Try this again. Come here. And can I have your name, Kathy? Uh, wait, what? Bro, I'm so lost why nobody's, why she's not talking, she's not changing in dialogue. I've talked to literally every single person in here and not one thing has changed, but they all keep mentioning Kathy and nothing is happening. Bro. Oh, Palermo's testimony. Okay. And then I got to go to... Kathy now Right, I think hold on Hold on Where'd she go? Come over here. Hello. Hi. Kathy was it you again? What is it? Can't see I'm busy here doing what? Some detective what you are. What is it like I'm doing? Uh, standing on the couch. I don't What you want me to do? Uh, uh You're, you're s avoiding work. I'm um, hello. I'm on break dude. Sometimes this isn't the, the case. Maybe I should talk a little bit. Do you like working here? Do you like working here? I love working in this nasty hotel on a busy shift. It's just like totally my favorite thing. Geez, she's kind of creepy when she puts on a pe pe peppy waitress sack. I imagine this hotel doesn't get that much excitement beyond last night. Yep. You were the last one who carried the check to the office, correct? All right. There we go. The manager gave the check to me. Just like we agreed. I left and took it to the office and we put it in the safe together afterwards. Okay. All right. Hold on, wait. Who are you? You're new. Do I even want to know what you're doing here, Mordecai? Can a guy just stay in a hotel and read a book? Since we can read it sideways. Since when could you read sideways? <laughs> put him in a bag, baby. All right. Um. Uh, so you don't know anything about the ro robbery? I've run into Mordecai more than once in my investigation. The kid's a petty criminal and not a very bri not very bright, but he knows things. Really, Sil? I'm not involved. I have good reason to, to doubt that. Are you sure you don't know anything about the robbery? Well, your, your, your face is dumb. What the hell? What? What the hell's going on? Why? Wait a minute, is this Sonic Adventure 1? What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? I don't know, man. You're done. Goodbye. Fine, you win. If there's something you want to know about the people around these parts, I'll talk. What is it? Uh, The manager has encountered some trouble with... Well, you know. He's referring to the Leonardo's. Murakai isn't part of it himself, but he's got buddies who are. What sort of trouble? Financial, I hear that an important Leonardo died in this hotel room. They've been trying to pressure the manager to pay compensation ever since. When did that happen? I'd say just over a year ago. I still would have been with the police. Then Chief must have kept the info under tight wraps. One of my pal sister's mother's culinary teacher works as the head chef here. She said uh, she, she said that there was a waitress who saw the death. Do you know which one? Yeah, she's friends with the head chef. Apparently she sneaks hotel scraps to the wild Pokemon living in the alley outside the hotel. Because that's a hell of a description. I'm not gonna hardly say she has blonde hair. Do you know how much of the world has blonde hair, Sylvester? Ah! So Kathy saw the death. She probably stole no, 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 so they stole the money. Okay, 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 okay. Go to the hotel's alleyway. Who the hell are you? He was, is that us? 
Hello? Give me your money. I'm a waitress. Don't I got like I make any money? Uh fair enough. To give me your money. To give me your Pokemon. I work with food. It's unhygienic to have Pokemon around. You serious? I know that's a lie. You've been feeding the Pokemon in this alleyway. They'll come if you call for them. Can you believe this man? What a pu Hey, random past civilians don't mind us. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, hold on, what's with this music? Music busting, hold on. Yeah. All right, next. Are we still fighting? Oh, whoa. Time to turn the tables. Bro, you're not turning the tables on goddamn Badoo. Move, man. This is what I get for walking under the ladder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You good? I'm fine, thanks. Now it's perfect time to see if I can get her to say something. I'm sure she's thankful. So, uh, you like Pokemon? For a detective, you're really bad at asking investigate investigative questions. I specialize in tracking people in evidence, not questioning. Past tense? Yeah, I used to be a part of the police force. I still have my partner, Swine Up, though. Uh, she mostly just naps and freezes in my office these days. Have you tried placing ice packs around whenever she sleeps? It's just messy, and she might stop doing that. I'll have to keep that in mind. Am I probably going to take take a breather before I head back in? Of course, I'll just leave you at that. Okay. Wait. So, Kathy, does the death of a hotel guest count as nothing interesting around these parts? What? We're not allowed to talk about that. Manager's instructions. Why is that? Sorry, why is that? To protect the hotel's reputation. The investigation was really quiet, you know? I was still working with the police force when this happened, and I even didn't hear about this. Or I, and even I didn't hear about it. That's a lot more than just quiet. I was in the manager's office dropping off the food he ordered. I heard the sound of a scuffle above me from one of the hotel rooms. And then it happened. I saw the body of the victim fall right up past the window. Oh, okay. And now you know that I do. Also, can I stop whispering now? Yes. Please just don't let the manager find out I was the one who told you, all right? I need this job. I won't tell. Thanks. All right. So now, uh, let's go see. Come over here. Hello. You should not pass. I know about the thingy. Oh, yes. Then what's the thingy? Uh, here. Oh, oh, I guess I must let you pass. Follow me upstairs. Okay, right this way. All right. Uh, I can't leave you alone at the, at the scene of the crime, so we're buddies now. Feel free to ask me questions you have. Uh, uh, I don't know. No. Something's up in here, I know there is. Receipt clue? Ah. This is without a doubt the most ugly table I've ever set my eyes on. I stubbed my toe on that table once. It's awful, but I guess that's what none of the... Okay. Table clue. Receipt clue. We can leave the guy's room now. Um, I got a feeling I have all the evidence I need to crack this case. You already done? Yep. Well, it was fun checking out the crime scene together. I guess. <laughs> Whatever. Well, all right, um, I should confront the thief now. I know they're in this hotel for a fact. Wow, you got this really determined look in your man, man, move, bro. I know who the killer is. It's the, it's the guy with the guy. But why, though? Ah, detective. Was there something you needed from me? Excuse me, what are you suggesting? Suggesting, might be. The hotel has a fine reputation. Plenty of tourists visit, and we're, we're also known for the many local charities you sponsor. I'm saying that your hotel isn't nearly as... Idyllic uh, 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 ah! Sorry <laughs> As it appears And I have the evidence to prove it Uh, hold on what, what, What's next? What's next? What's next? Uh, let's present Kathy's testimony first Bam Uh, I'm not quite sure you're getting that detective Try again? Okay, um Mordecai's Reputation. Uh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. So do I... Right here. Kathy's one. Huh? I'm so lost. 
Hotel's reputation, right? Now present. Hold on. Present Kathy's testimony. Two, maybe? There's a death at the hotel. One of the guests fell out of the window. That's hardly a rosy picture. Well, accidents do happen, you know? We can't prevent everything. And this has little to do with that case, with the case at hand. Well, I can prove that it's linked. And now link Mordecai. Bam. The guest who died was Leonardo. They're not happy about it. And they've been and have been pressuring the hotel for money. <laughs> so maybe there was a criminal element involved in what happened. That doesn't mean I still back. Truly, this is unall related to the case, Detective. We at the hotel are more concerned about the location of the money as opposed to prosecuting the criminal. So Well, I know where the money is. Uh the table. The table, okay. The ugly table in the guest room isn't a table. It's the real safe. Impossible. You switched around the safes, and I have the ultimate proof to show it. The receipt. Oh! If we check the purchase of the other safe with this receipt, I'm certain it would be traced back to you. Okay. Okay. What the hell? Oh! <laughs> What the hell? He could not cap. He was like, wait a minute, you too, you too, you too nice with this. Well, too bad for you, guy. I got this, huh? Yeah. Meowth real easy. Moolah, baby. Kill him. But I miss. What the? F hey, yo. Okay. Bro, how much Pokemon do you have, bro? Jesus Christ, you want me to do stuff with a, with a, oh my God, bro. What? All right, here we are. Now the real money getting to it. Come on, Jesus Christ. Come on, bro. Thank you. Die. Next. I confess. There's no point in hiding any longer. I needed the money to pay those mobsters. They were furious that one of their own had died in the hotel. And they kept coming back over and over, demanding more and more each time I needed that money. I couldn't afford to give them any more of my own. So I bought a second safe. Then I moved the one with the check to this crime scene. The police have told us to seal the crime scene and never use, that, never use the room. It's been out of commission for over a year now. It was also why I hired a detective. Unlike the police, you wouldn't have the legal authority to check this room for clues. At least, if that lazy Kathy hadn't told you about this place, this is all her fault. If she hadn't said so, there was nothing else I could do. I had to take the money. Welcome, I'm daycare man. I can. Oh, it's you. Uh, yes, I um. I noticed the help wanted sign. You're not working at the hotel anymore. My boss, my boss's last act as manager was to fire me. Speaking about the death, I see. I can't really blame the detective. He was just doing his job. That he was. So is there an application or something? No, no, nothing as formal as that. I just need someone to help care for the Pokemon. Now that I'm not as mobile, my daughter used to help me, but she isn't able to anymore. Oh, she's raising a family of her own. At own she is. But enough shit, chat. If you have the time now, I can show you the ropes. I like that. Ha! Huh. Really? Ha! Huh. Ah, there's nothing like nothing. Just sitting at my desk waiting for a call. Yup, I sure do enjoy nothing. Ah, I knew that would happen the moment I started to relax. Hello, Sylvester. Wow, come to the Duchampe residence. I'm gonna hang up now. Nobody with Mordecai wants to bother me. He finds me in person. This would be serious if he's calling my work line. The Duchamps are wealthy. They have a mansion to the east of here. Case two. Man's greatest vice. All right. Well, uh, with that being said, I'm going to off right here. Hope you guys enjoy. Five hundred likes. The like go for the second uh, case, I guess. I don't know how many cases there are in this game. Well, yeah, it's 14 cases. So we do a case by case. It's 14 parts. Who knows? Leave a like. I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.